With the body of the car created, I can now go ahead and create the openings for the wheels. I've turned the visibility of the sketches back on. They'll be very useful creating that opening in, the, in these areas. So I'm going to go to a circle. Be careful you select the correct sketch again. That gets those endpoints and allows the snap to be correct. I'm just kind of guesstimating here as to what the center point will be. That's probably a little bit high. Let's come down a little lower. I know the wheel is going to be 15 millimeters radius, 30 diameter, so I'll make this opening 16. might come back and make that bigger, but we'll start with 16. Now to complete the opening, I'm going to add some straight lines from the, the sides, both right and left, and then trim out the extra lines that I don't need. Back to my polyline. Again, selecting the sketch and placing the lines. You want to be kind of flare out the opening a little bit. And again on the other side. So once I've got that sketch created, I can go in and trim out the extra lines that I don't need. Selecting my sketch. And there's quite a few lines in here. I could actually go around and select the ones that I want for the extrusion, but it, it tidies it up a little bit better. There we go. And once that's completed, I'm going to select that profile and extrude that into the body of the car. And with all those little lines trimmed out, I'm just about ready to do that. So there's the profile. Zoom around a little bit select that profile and it's going to be an extrude cut because we want that to be an opening. So the wheel is going to be about oh, 10 or 12 millimeters so I'm going to make that, let's make that 20. There we are. Again we can always come back and fix those. So with that one opening we obviously have to create three more using the same workflow. But I'll hide those sketches and we want to take those sharp edges off. So I'm going to go to fill it Keep in mind when we were doing fillets earlier on, I was trying for about 5 millimeters radius. I'm going to try for that again. See if I have any more luck with it. And you can see the little X down in the bottom right hand corner. So 5 isn't going to work. It looks as if 3 is probably the best bet for most of these fillets. Let's close that little window down. I already put 3 in so it's available to me. And that did work. So try 5 if you want, but it looks as if on most of these, a 3mm radius will work. 5 is just too large. Obviously I have to repeat exactly the same on the other side and then design the front opening. Uh, and there will be two of those obviously as well. I could go ahead and make a wheel, but we actually have these kits that are available. And underneath motorcycle, under components, there's quite a nice selection of wheels. So I'm going to bring of those in. Then I'm going to save it locally to my computer. You can select which one you want. There's about four or five there. So I'll save that to my computer. You can see all the files I've been working with. And I'll call this car wheel. And go ahead and save that. Now I need to check what size that wheel is. I don't know. So I'm going to go to the measure tool. and measure the radius of that. So measure the outside radius, diameter. So it's 45 millimeters radius. And I know I've left an opening of 16. So we'll have to scale that down. So I'm going to scale it. You've probably figured it out. 15 over 45 is a third or 0 0.3333 recurring. So let's see what that come up with. Measure it. 14.999. Well, I think we can uh, accept that. Now there's no tire as such on this wheel, so let's go in and select some of these faces and change the color of them so it looks a bit better. Rotate that around. Select the face on the other side. And once we've selected that face, I'm going to go into the black paint. And that looks better. And we'll obviously be putting four of these into the car model.